All right, let's try to go back. Is it east? Yeah. Oh, that's a cliff. I'm like, why can't I move? So I haven't quite checked this little patch right here, but otherwise we're probably going to head south and check out that other weird branch we found. There's so much space around town. Hello. What's up with this one? Watch yourself in this place. The guy who runs it is, uh, touchy. Holiday's Armageddon Emporium. Explosive bargains. On either side of the door, two ancient security cameras track your every move. Sounds like a quick save moment. Hopefully he won't kill me on sight like a certain elderman. This is the scariest general store you've ever seen. Explosive booby traps are strung throughout the merchandise and multiple sets of wires lead behind a concrete wall with a thick bulletproof glass window. From behind the window, a very twitchy looking man looks at you expectantly. Can I talk to you normally or are you going to blow everything up on me? This man has a part of a neatly cut hair that is as straight as a ruler. Uh, a part in his neatly, uh, neatly cut hair that is straight as a ruler. His buckskins and boots are spotlessly clean, and sweat is dripping down his closely shaved cheeks. He looks about one second from exploding. Sounds like a bad idea to talk to him, but I quick save, so we're good. You here to trade? What are you selling? Sorry, shelves are a little empty today. Damn rail thieves jumped my supplier and made off of three big crates. I'll have, I'll have the last laugh though. Kekaba said he'd be uh, pay them near Duels a visit as soon as he deals with the Atchisons. Of course, that may take a while, so. Oh, we can still immediately start shopping anyway. Really? That's his character model? And that's his portrait. Yeah, those look like the same thing. How come none of these... I'm noticing that none of these people's portraits seem to look like Native American characters, but everyone's actual character models have these Native American characters. To the point where it almost feels like some kind of weird bug. Oh, it's a one-way... They're fighting with signs. Is our, is that everybody? Are everyone's swords one-way... Uh, one, one-way... Signs? Bunch of ammo, some shotguns and stuff. Pretty low on... Oh, I'm actually not that low on money, am, am I? And sell some junk to make a little bit more. Just floppy disks mostly that I stole from that other guy. And that singing bass we got from the guy we killed. How am I doing on trauma kits? Tempting to, definitely tempting to buy another one real quick. See, handguns, 10 to 15. I probably don't need to buy weapons around here for the most part. I feel like I can probably get better stuff back at camp. Oftentimes. Let's compare this, uh... Uh, not you. Let's compare this sniper to the one I'm using on my sniper. It is the same weapon, it looks like. Except except mine has no chance of jamming. How about the assault rifle? Um... Oh yeah, it's a lot better actually, although it does have a significant uh, AP reduction in efficiency. I mean, well... It, co it costs way more AP, but it also does seem to be a lot higher damage and probably better off in general. I might want to grab that. How much does it cost? 310 is a lot of money to think about. Just go jumping straight into... Do I want to blow money right away? I mean, I've got the scrap to spend, I suppose. Let's go ahead and make this call. Let's see. Anything I want to sell, really? Probably not a whole lot. Especially since we dismantle weapons, mostly. Oh, look at that guy's armor. Oh, right. It's that super high... That super slowing armor. Don't know if I'm going to actually want to wear that or not for, because of the slow element of it. Tell me about Kekaba. He's our chief, an honorable man and a great leader. With the power of the Golden Spike to guide him, he, he's sure to get the train running again. I know it. What do you know about the Golden Spike? The Topekan Totem. Because gold is the point. With it to guide us to riches and the train to take us there, we will be unstoppable. You proud of the Topekan train? Of course. If the train was running again, I could double my selection and lower my prices. Business would go through the roof. I wish Kekaba would just finish off Casey James and be done with it. Who's Casey James? 
the leader of the Atchison's, and a terrorist. Plain and simple. Booby traps everything with bombs. Can you believe it? Yeah, I, I can't imagine how any, anyone would ever do that. How do you feel about the Topekans? Real riders and honest traders. That's us. We built the train and we keep it running. And at least, and at least we did until those Atchison's uh, stole the brake shoe. We've already talked about the brake shoe enough at this point. Rail thieves stole your uh, supplies? I'll say that it, bastards. They're like roaches. For every one you kill, three more come out of the shadows. Bigger threat than the Atchison's if you ask me. Why, if someone was to kill a few of them and recover my shipment, I might be so graceful to give him a discount on my goods. So he's incentivizing me killing some dudes. I think I might start skipping some dialogue for some of these characters a little bit, just because there definitely is that feeling of like, yep, you can talk about every topic with every character, and sometimes maybe isn't fully worth the effort to talk about the same thing again with the new character. That is a more powerful assault rifle, it would appear. All right, so I assume I should just scrap this one. Sturdy mag and underbarrel barrel flashlights. Nope, just broken weapon parts. That's fine. It sells for something. Now get out of here, Aberforth. I don't have time. I don't have time for you. Leave me alone, Aberforth. I'm on a mission. A mission for the rail nomads, or something. Um. Yeah, at this point, I'm probably just gonna head down that one weird path we saw. Oh, a bar. there's a bar. If it didn't highlight so Christmas green and bright like that, I might have not even noticed. You know, back home, when the cactus goes bad, we throw it away. Dango Kinovich! One more for the road! I will admit it fairly clear that she's not from this town at this point. Dango Kinovich! One more for the road! Isn't it? Can I inspect him? Paunchy, red-faced, and ferociously bearded, the bartender looks... An old, overgrown dwarf from some pulp fantasy novel, except for the little black cap with the red star he wears perched on top of his mop of gray hair. Welcome, Rangers, to the finest bar in Topekan territory. I'm always happy to squeeze libations for the storied and heroic paladins of the desert. We are proud to pour the finest squeezins known to man. And for Rangers, at the finest price known to man. How do you feel about the Desert Rangers? They always welcome in my establishment, provided they don't get no thirst for killing. How do you feel about being a Topekan? Folks say rail nomad is divided between the Topekans and the Atchisons, but it ain't so. The Topekans run the trains and started the town. The Atchison's just work here. What do you think of the Atchison's? Used to be good customers till Kekobar kicked them out of the camp. Now, KC James and the rest of them are so mad that does its best to shoot them before they get too close. Liable to blow themselves up elsewise. They, they got a camp on the outside of ours. Pathetic. Surprised it don't dry up and blow away, and them with it. What do you think of Casey James? He was a good man once, for an Atchison. But even then, he was stubborn. Now that Kekabars kicked him out, he's gone from stubborn to murderous. What do you think of Kekabar? He was a leader, and one tough hombre. Helps keep those local jerks in line. I just wish he'd ease up a little on these Atchison's. Not that they ain't evil, murdering bastards. But this war is hell on trade. What's standing in the way of trade? We are! Until us, the Pekin stop fighting them, Atchison's will never get the train running. And that'll never happen because Kekabar and old Casey James are too stubborn to compromise. They both blame each other for the wreck and they both claim the Golden Spike is theirs by right. What's so special about the Golden Spike? The Golden Spike is the honor of our tribe. Given to us by John Henry himself, no matter what the Atchison say. 
If we was to lose that, we wouldn't be Topekans no more. What wreck is this? Happened a few years back. Kekaba was driving the train, and it crashed. Cost him his arm. He blamed the Atkinsons for not maintaining the rails. They blamed us for not maintaining the brakes. That's why they stole the brake shoe too. So Kekaba was the one that was driving during the crash, which explains his particular anger. But it, it is totally possible that these guys are actually the ones at fault all along, for all we know. Kekaba lost his arm? You didn't know? Yep. He's only got the left one now. But was it the right? Uh, either way, he suffered with one, and you are with two. Tell me about the brake shoe. It's the thing that makes the train stop. The Atchison's took it from us. They said they wouldn't let us run the trains unless we took better care of them. What kind of jerks? All the hobos and junkies and rail thieves that live around here always busting things up and not worth the spit it takes to curse them. On the earlier topic, and it's probably just because I'm, I'm just anticipating a twist so hard here, I get the feeling that when we get to the other team, the other side, and talk to them about the rail shoe, if they talk to us at all, uh, if they are the talking type, I get the feeling that we'll find out that, like, the train crashing may have actually, like, killed a bunch of people over there or something, and that might be why they took the shoe away. It's like, if you guys aren't going to maintain this properly, then we're not going to let you drive these because it's putting us at a risk or something. But we'll see. You don't like hobos. They're my best customers. Until they're my worst. Junkies? No use for those losers. They don't drink squeezins. They just snort circuit. Disgusting. What circuit? They make it out of ground up scorpions. Poison, if you ask me. Who are these rail thieves? Train robbers. Ah, oh, gosh, now that the trains ain't running, they're just robbers. Gotta hide out somewhere between us and the Atchison camp. It's them where he should be fighting, not the Atchison's, if you want my opinion. The trains don't seem to be running. Don't I know it. I could triple my squeeze in sales if I could establish regular trade with my far-off customers. Right now, all I got is Sammy Haas, and he makes his rounds on foot. It's all that fun. Damn, Casey changed his fault. I bet Samuel Haas is exactly who I'm here to find. He's around here somewhere. Ah, there he is, down the end of the bar. Oh, and he's right here. We'd like to buy some squeezins. To be honest, you already seem tough as nails, but if that's what you want, you came to the right place. Buy all you'll need. It's always on sale. How many bottles would you like? <laughs> Might as well take a look. Snake squeezins. Ooh, 600. So they must cost 50 each? When you absolutely don't want to remember the rest of the day, nothing gets the job done, like snake squeezins, except, except no substitutes. Do I have a reason to want them, though? There's kind of a cool thing to have around. Huh. Come back again! So where is Haas? Is that Haas? Are you Haas? Is this guy Haas? Oh, there he is. Rangers? I don't know nothing about it. What it don't you know about? Any it. I don't know anything, honest. You can ask anyone. I just peddle booze. What kind of booze? I'm a traveling snake squeezing salesman. I buy wholesale from Gorkinovich here and sell all around the wastelands. Highpool, Ag Center, even Ranger Citadel. Well, it turns out we were just looking for a snake squeezing uh, salesman, so... Do you know a ranger named Ace? Who? No. Never heard of him. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you can be hot. You can go heard, known, or boring man. Let's see. 
Ace's logbook says he traveled with a boring man who sold snake squeezins. Sounds a lot like you. Okay, okay, yeah, that's me he's talking about in his logbook. Don't know what he means by boring, though. Anyways, yes, I travel with the guy. It's always nice to have a ranger for company on the road. Keeps the bad guys away, but... But not this time. Something was hunting him, and it attacked him my second night out of Rail Nomad. Killed him. The poor guy. What kind of something? I don't know what it was. It was horrible. It looked like a man, but it was made of plastic. And its eyes... Ugh, I still see them when I sleep. How was he killed? It was a terrible fight. That thing tore into Ace like a ripsaw. I fired a few shots at it, but it didn't pay any attention. It just kept hacking at Ace with these knives that came out of its body. Then when Ace wasn't moving anymore, it stole his pack and his case and started to crawl off with him. Well, it couldn't walk, could it? Ace shot one of its legs off. Didn't get far, neither. After a while, all the oil bled out of it, and it just lay there. Then the lights went out of its eyes, and it was gone. Where exactly did you find Ace's log? I found it in that thing's shoulder pack, and I took it. But I was going to give it back the next time I came around to Ranger Citadel. Honest. Here, take it. I don't want it. You ever heard of Hellraiser? He's another ranger, right? Ace talked about him a couple of times. Said they were on the same trail, only coming at it from different angles. No idea what he meant by that. Hang on, Echo One. I can't let this coward go. He just watched his ace die. Hey! No! Leave me alone! This is for you, Ace. Oh, shit. Oh, he was my second best squeezins customer. Thanks a lot, Rangers. That was a little extreme. He's a salesman, he's not a soldier. Damn, Angela. It's cold. I, I get... Rangerin is thirsty work. Isn't it? You're still gonna have that 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 pleasant greeting after I've killed your salesman. That was that was a bit Ranger uncalled for. Ranger You're still say, stop saying that. Yeah, he doesn't seem to react any differently now that I killed that guy. No one really seems to care. Well, I guess without knowing it at the time, when I chose to bring Angela with me, I was making a life or death decision for somebody. And it wasn't Angela. Uh, can I go up here? Looks like this all connects to the other side of the, behind the building. Might as well do a quick check to see if there's anything stashed around here. You are almost overcome by the smell of fermented cactus fruit. Above the door is an old sign that reads Little Red Hen. Home of Dr. B. Bilius Balfour's world famous snake squeezins. Hastily scrawled beneath the old sign you read, No Desert Scum Allowed. Uh, I might be a little bit of desert scum. What's that thing say in the middle? Is it just another thing that says meeting hall? They probably just all say meeting hall, huh? Yeah, there's all the different doors to the meeting hall. I don't see anything particularly new around this area, so I think we can just continue on. Probably. Let's go ahead and keep heading south. We got that one little path that looked like it went somewhere, so I might as well investigate that. I assume I still can't open this door either, right? Ow! Ow! Jesus! You're just being rude now, frankly. It's uncalled for. This place is mean. I didn't even say beat down the door. I'm like, what if you just touch the door? It's a bomb! Yeah, it's the... It's the Atchisons that are filling their place up with bombs everywhere. Not the Topekans. Topekans are way better than that. They would never stoop to such levels to freaking wire bombs around the town. Alright, well, it's just that you can keep your goddamn meeting hall. I'm literally just walking around town. You guys, you guys suck. It's freaking blowing me up and shit. Why won't you listen? Why won't you give up? I promise you, there is no Verkitan armor. It does not exist. What's a Verkitan? That was a mine. Shit. Jesus. This place is mean. That's what I get for glancing at the map for a moment. Alright, so... What do we know about this area? Yeah, let's play as our character that's got perception. 
Shit, 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 shit. Okay, individual control for a second here, jeez. Alright, perceptive character. Looks like a landmine was buried here. Does it go this way? This whole area is safe. There's more over here. Those are a little hard to see, aren't they? Can I sneak between them? Is the question. I don't know if it works that way or not. I guess we'll, I guess we're finding out. It seems to work. You seem to be allowed to just walk between things. How long do the mines go? Are we done? Are we done with that? Dick. Anything else around here? What's that? Is that a radio tower? Is that what I came here for? What's that? Oh, those don't look good at all. Oh, shit. How many dangerous things are around here? Um... I'm gonna want like, the whole power to you through here is what I'm gonna want. So... I guess I'll start doing this manually. I could probably, if I, if I want to, I could also probably... Oh, don't get behind the building, silly. Camera. If I want to, I could probably also get away with, like... Oh, wait, oh, wait, let's get him nearby for perception. Is there anything else around here I haven't seen yet? Is the coast clear right here? Seems like it is. Alright. Just careful, like. Just walk through this safe-ass bushes of safety. Because, yeah, I'm definitely going to want the whole party over here, judging by what's clearly got to be an attacking force. Careful, y'alls. Gotta be real careful, like. Sally! You're a murderer now, you know that? That's what you became. Congratulations. Hope that's what you wanted. Alright, so... We desperately need to do a little bit of healing, because I really goofed things up earlier. So which one's... there's Sally. Sally in particular. Not doing so hot. Which is less than ideal shape for the tank to be in. Oops. Damn it. Nope, nope, nope. I need to check my supply on these healing items to make sure we're still doing good. I don't think I need to fully heal the whole party necessarily, but Sally can't be walking around with low health, because she has a role to play? Alright. Please don't tell me you're going to like redistribute yourselves directly into danger. Alright. Let's go ahead and place some characters as they need to be. Pla no! Well, that's a bummer. I was trying to get a nice, uh, distribution of party members. So we have to watch out for these toads, because as, as a commenter pointed out last time, the toad apparently stole my weapon last round. One, last time I fought, I fought one, so we're going to have to be careful with this. Do you have a clear line of sight? I'm not sure you do. Let's see. How far can I get with 2 AP? That far? That's a clear line of sight, at least. There we go. Uh... A shot costs 5 AP. Should I take a- should I go back a little bit more still? Nah. Let's take a knee. I'll sacrifice having fewer shots to deal with the fact that my accuracy is not great right now. And you missed. Alrighty then. Good job, everyone. 100% shot all the way out there, huh? Maybe I should be trying to hobble these guys. That's the wrong button. <laughs> Maybe I should be trying to stop these guys from making it in here too quickly. Reduced speed, go for it. Wow, reduced speed and reduced health. Funny how that works, huh? Can I hit that guy from here? He's armored, isn't he? Should I try to reduce his armor, probably? I hope I don't hit my teammate. Let's see. Reduced armor. Please don't hit your... T no friendly fire? Oh, wow, no hit, huh? I totally forgot to reload my character after that last fight, didn't I? Yep, those wolves come swooping right in. 
Well, my attempt to hobble him didn't seem to do anything, because he just charged right in anyway. That's a lot of enemies in a very closed area. Uh, Vulture, this is not the right place for a sniper to be in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and back off a while, and just wait, spend this turn getting away, and take a knee. Hey, Sally! You wanna put a hole in a few people? That sounds like fun to me. Uh, highest chance of hit is the toads, so let's work on them for a little bit. I think. Put some holes in them. Bam! There's some damage. Can I go after the other the other toad too? I just might damage enough of these characters to actually cause them to There we go. I also think they're all in threatened squares right now, which means that they're actually likely to get uh attacks of opportunity. So now you're you're the weaker character, so you try to pick people off. Oh, but the shotgun character could deal a lot of damage to them in general too, huh? Maybe I should attack this wolf character. That's not great damage, is it? I'm gonna have to get you some new, uh... I'm gonna have to get you some new pistols, aren't I? Howdy, y'all. Alright, so a shot costs 4 AP. Let's see, I can probably get a better cone if I go over here. Attack. There we go, attacking four of them at once. How are y'all's feeling about that? Oh, they lived more than I was hoping for. Alright, well, let's back off, because you're my healer. No, you took my weapon? But I did good work with that weapon. Now you're just, now you're just gonna have to pay. See so yeah, how that works. I could shoot the toad, but the toad is uh, gonna. It might put Sally at a risk, so I'm gonna try to avoid that a bit. Hey, sniper, sniper, sniper. Bye. Alright, we're gonna have to reload now. Wait, oh no, we're out of ammo completely. I'll have to go buy some sniper ammo, apparently. That's a bummer. Unless someone else has the sniper ammo right now. Let's see. Can I change characters from here? I can't do it right now. Uh, we might have more sniper ammo on my other sniper. We're doing fine this fight. I'm not too concerned. Toad's getting wrecked, as it were. Hey, Toady. Punch you in the face. Punchy, punchy. Punchy, punchy. That's a good punch. Alright. Let's clear out of the way a little bit. Because right now you're in the way of line of sight for some of these characters. Uh-oh. Alright, she lost control, but at least she got the hit. Wow. Oh, that's you. Never mind. Hey, you still got ammo, don't you? Make sure everyone reloads like they need to. What about you? You do have more shots. Let's go ahead and transfer some of those to him. Like most of them, because he's a better sniper, frankly. Send him 10 shots. There you go. Bam. So we have more sniper shots than I thought, but still less than I'd like to have, basically. Uh, junk. Pipe bomb. All right, heavy weapons. Toad eye. Junk. My crowbar that he stole. More junk. Definitely gonna have to re-equip that crowbar real quick. There we go. That'll help me out. All right, so we're clear. Go, gonna go ahead and quick save after that fight. Hey, we can attach our repeater unit. That's good. With sections missing from the tower, the control panel isn't controlling much of anything at the moment. Get the tower functional and powered if you want to attach a repeater. Fuck. I'm attaching it anyway, you son of a bitch. You can't stop me. Damn it. Alright, we need to get this thing to work now. Uh, can I do mechanical repair? Go back to party control. Everyone come over here. Howdy, y'all. You ready to help out with the party? No mechanical repair coming in here? Let's make sure I select the right character just in case. Nope. We're gonna have to do something more creative than that, apparently. Alright, uh, what's, what's missing from you? Use radio controller circuit. Apparently I already have that. Go, go, Dolores. With, well, an electrical engineer might cringe at your handiwork. You fit the control circuit firmly back into place. Alright. So, just, what, what else are we missing from this tower now? 
With the control circuit settled back in, the tower is looking almost functional, but not quite. It can't broadcast without a new antenna. So now we need to find an antenna. Alright. At least we have a goal. So we're on our way to the whole repeater unit situation, but we can't use it properly till we find an antenna. Uh, let's part lead the party with the, sni the sniper. Looks like this area is not booby trapped. There's a bridge over here. Is there anything around here besides the antenna? Doesn't necessarily look like it. Let's see, where does this thing lead me? I'm gonna go there alone to see if there's bombs. No evidence of bombs yet. Are you the asshole that set the bomb that set the traps? Everyone come back over here. This is a big rock. Just saying. Infidelis. Alright. Infidelis. So he's friendly. Ooh! Ooh, goodness me. I don't like your town very much right now. Very bad for visitors, as it were. There's more bad guys over here? Hang on a second. Wait, solo control for the moment. Can I approach the... Oh, there's toads. Are there bombs between us and the toads is the question. I'm gonna assume not. Alright, well, sniper in the back. Other uh, sniper in the back. Rifleman up front a little bit. Everybody take a knee. No! I got too close. Alright, it started without me. It's a little it's a little hard to try to build a a formation in this game sometimes. Primarily because you can barely see half the time. Right, is he attacking us? says one enemy, so he seems, he seems to be neutral. Whatever the hell he is. Alright, so it's your turn. And you're staring straight at this guy's face. Blow him away? That's not a very good shot at all. There you go, that's better. Now it's our sniper's turn. 100% chance. That's good. It's pretty good. Really, no... Oh, you're out of AP. Okay. I don't have enough AP to aim at a different character. It's impossible. Let's see. Instead of safety, I want to back up a bit. If I can. Like, back here. And then take a knee again. Because he's supposed to be a long-range character, and these characters are probably going to crowd my range soon. I meant to get Sally out front. I'm apparently bad at setting up a formation that's good for fighting, but also not starting the fight early. Uh, let's shoot this, this high health character. There we go. That's a nice dent to put in someone. Alright, you guys gotta play catch-up now, unfortunately. Wow, you can go really far without, uh, having to shoot yet. Alright, so we can still get one shot off. 76. I might be able to finish that one off. There you go. Sally, you got busy work to do. Just get up in their face. You just gotta get up in their grill. There you go. Oh, here he comes. Ah, oh, straight to my sniper. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. You son of a bitch. Well, I might just have the, uh, my medic just might have the cure for this condition. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get myself in a position where I can shoot this guy without shooting my teammates, though. Uh, care. Ah! Ah! That wasn't good enough. Quick, Aberforth, help us. Oh, okay, he tried. At least he seems to be on the right side of things here. Here, you try to finish him off. There we go. That's that problem solved. Oh, he's alive. I was gonna say, what a clean little turn to wipe everything out. Bam! Attack of opportunity. Oh yeah. D and D rules. If you're in the if you're in the threatened squares of an enemy tank in D and D, you don't attack somebody else. That's some really those are some hardcore tank mechanics right there. Anyone level up? Oh, Sally leveled up. That's handy. Copy, Echo One. This is Ranger. Yeah, congratulations, Echo One. There we go. Wait, also, everyone level up. I mean, repair. There we go. So, Sally, you're now level nine. 
Four more points to go. Do I just go right into... Well, yeah, you're not, you're not a, you might as well go into Blunt Weapons. It'll give you access to another potential future skill. More accuracy, which is good for us to have. And it might be the last point I can put into this before we hit the uh, cat. Yep, six skill points after this. It's more or less what I was saving for. Seems reasonable to me. Alrighty. This town is a dick so far. Alright, uh, are we still in individual control? I think we are. Let's carefully approach with our sniper. You got more mines over here? What is the deal with all the mines in this town so far? Just seems a bit excessive to me. Holy crap, does this town just keep going? Now where are we? There's w there's waste wolves? There's a lot going on around here. And I think that one neutral character is following me. Yeah, the provost. Is he just right over here? Look at this guy. Yep, still not sure what's up with him. Alright, I think I'm going to cut it here, because I'm going a little long now, but uh... We're going to have to find out what's going on here. I, th I think we might find a camp. Is that going to be where the bandits are? Maybe they're stashed down here past all the mines. It would actually make some sense. And maybe we'll even find what I need for the tower. If not, we'll... I'll see if there's anything to explore. It looks like there might be a little bit more up north of the rail camp, and... If, that, if we finish that, we'll probably check out the uh, other camp, get their half of the story.